sorry about that. I didn't see you there for a moment. I was just practicing with my young friends from China. This is a Chinese marching band at the elementary school level. Ha! Who knew it? They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Today, it's all about the marching bands. We're going to do marching music, and we are going to do some rhythms, and we are going to find out all the cool things that marching bands have for us all around the world. All right, not just China, although we like them. I like their outfits. Very cool. All right, today I thought we'd start with maybe some rhythm sticks. So I have brought some real uh, drumsticks today. You don't have to, just some normal pencils, pens, whatever you got, chopsticks, okay. I brought a little drum, just a little one, just a little one. And we're gonna play a little Grand Canyon game. So I'm gonna play a rhythm and you answer a back. So if I just did four beats, then you do a back. Click, 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 yeah, okay. So let's try it a little bit. Here we go, let's try it again. One, two, three, four, your turn. One, two, three, try this one. Your turn. Your turn. How about this? Your turn. Boom, boom, but up that one again. Boom, boom, but up, boom, boom. How about this one? Triple it, triple it, stop. Oh yeah, triple it, triple it, and triple. Your turn. Triple it, triple it, stop, and. Mm, mm. Last one. Dun, dun, bum, bum. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Great job, great job. All right, rhythm. Two little pieces of wood or whatever you got, a drum of some sort. It doesn't even have to be an official drum. This is, you know, just a little drum, but you can use a cup. You could use whatever you got. Here's a computer keyboard. Usually don't use it for this, but right? Whatever you got, that's what people have been using to make rhythm all these years, okay? If you enjoy making rhythm, this is actually something that a lot of people really get into. Oh my goodness, some people, it's sort of their life, making rhythm with drums, awesome. And in fact, you can look online and there's instruction videos that show you how to play, um, hold the sticks in the best way. Okay, let's see if I can find that. Yeah, no, not this one. Where did I find it? Oh, thought I had it, thought I had it, thought I had it. Du, 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 no, no, no. Okay, wait, wait, here. Ah, there it is, there it is. Found a website, found a website that shows four different grips. That's a little better. Four different kinds of grips, four different kinds. I'll leave it in the link below. There's an American grip, a German grip, a French grip, and a traditional grip. So you can grip the drums in different ways between your fingers, you can hold it like that, do all kinds of different things. Right, to get those going, okay? Kind of middle, usually in the middle somewhere, and some people hold it a little farther on the end if they want it a little bit louder, a little more rock and roll style, all right? Um, I'll leave that there if you're interested in learning. It's not too early to start learning to do rhythm, okay? Some of the world's most famous drummers, even in elementary school, started to play some drums and awesome there's also some great websites um, if i have a moment i don't know but i might leave a link below for some online drum lessons uh, not lessons but online drum sites all right um good work good work okay we're gonna actually read some rhythms now um we are gonna go to our rhythm randomizer but today we're doing it in two two four time two four time gonna get my drumsticks again okay two four time I'm gonna just take a single stick and I'm gonna that's gonna be my sound you can clap the rhythm if you want 
two four time just has two quarter notes in a measure. Um, two four time, or sometimes two two times, we call it two beats, two half notes. In this case, it's two quarter notes in a measure. Here's two quarter notes in the second measure. One, two, okay? Um, we can beat these together. I'm gonna use a stick. We're gonna pretend there's two dots here and it's a repeat sign and we're gonna do this twice, okay? All right, so here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Super quick, right? All right, let's do a couple more. All right, here's something a little different. One, two, here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good. Good, let's mix it up a little bit. Let's add some fancier notes. Um, how about quarter rests with it? Okay, let's get one with the rest in it. There we go, we got a rest on beat uh, two. We have some eighth notes as well. One and two, one and, okay? Let's try this together. One, two, ready, go. One and two, one and shh. One and two, one and shh. Good, all right, let's try another one. Okay, rest on beat one here, and then it's all eighth notes after that. Let's slow it down just a tiny bit. One, two, ready, go. Shh, two and one and two and shh, two and one and two and. Let's do that one again. Mr. Wright made a little error there. Let's try it together. Here we go, ready, go. Shh, one and two and two and shh, two and one and two and. Okay, too much going on in my brain. Let's make this even fancier, okay? We're, let's add some 16th notes, 16th notes, and let's see if we can get some in here in the mix. Oh, oh there we go. There's some 16th notes. How do we know they're 16th? Um, they're 16th notes because they have a double bar here, two lines, two lines, and that tells us we're 16. If we counted those, it would be one E and a, one E and a two, one, two. One E and a two, okay? One E and a two, they're really quick, okay? So let's try clapping this together or you can do the rhythm stick or two rhythm sticks, that works, okay? So one, two, ready, here we go. One E and a two, one, two. One E and a two, one, two. Nice, nice, let's see what else we have here. All right, let's get, oh man, we got some 16s here on beat two and then right into one. So these are gonna be all connected, okay? Let's try it together. One, two, ready, begin. One, two, e and a, one, e and a, two, and one, two, e and a, one, e and a, two, and. Nice, let's do that one again. That was fancy, woo, here we go. I hope you're having fun and trying and making mistakes is okay. That's how we learn. Here we go, ready, begin, one, Two e and a one e and a two and one. Two e and a one e and a two and. Good, nice work on the rhythm today. Two four time today, two four. It's all about the two four because we're marching. Because how many legs do we have, boys and girls? How many legs? Just two, just two. That's all I've got. So that's why we're two beats. One leg, then the other leg. One, two, one. Two, that's it, that's all we've got. So two, four time is our time to march. Awesome, okay. All right, this month we've been reading bass clef notes, so let's take a look at that. In September we read treble clef notes, this month bass clef notes, so now maybe, maybe we need to review those notes. Let's look at our treble clef, I mean our grand staff together. Treble clef here, bass clef down below. Remember the spaces, A, C, E, G, all cows. Eat grass, and the lines G, B, D, F, A. Good boys do fine always, or you might say good burritos don't fall apart, or great big dogs fight ants. The dogs fighting the ants, all right. Remember those, remember those. Get them in your brain, get them in your brain. Let's name a few notes. Going to our note trainer, all right. Third space, think of it, maybe say it in your brain, and it is an E note, E, all right. Okay, second line, second line, mm, great, mm, dogs fight ants, great, big dogs, so that would be a B, or good burritos, B, there we go, okay. First line, first line, that's a G, that's a G. 
All right, the fourth space, all cows eat. What do they eat? They eat grass, don't they? So that's a G. All right, just the line. If there was a G, we start the musical alphabet again at the letter A. A, so that is an A up there. All right. First space, first space. I think it's an F. So let's see if I thought it was an F. I think it's an F. Let's see. Up. Oh, I got it wrong. It was not an F. It was an A. And that's okay. Uh, this note trainer, this is called note trainer, and this is available online. If you want to learn the names and notes more quickly, you can pop on this. You do this five minutes a day. Every day, you're going to have all the names of the notes in no time. Okay. Third space, all cows, mm, grass. What do they do? They eat, eat the grass. Let's do one more, last one. First space again, you should know this one. This one's a, an A. All right, good job, good job, okay. A, my, there we go, okay. We are done with our note trainer, awesome work. And we, uh, we are done with our rhythm randomizer too. Good job, all right. And I will leave that. I'll come back to that maybe later. Okay. We are going to do some vocal exercises. Um, I want to start with uh, a new one, and then we're going to go two that we've already done. Um, all right. Vocal exercise. I want to do some what I call sirens. Sirens. Okay. These are great at warming up the voice. Um, they sound like this. Just like that. So you start way low in your voice, down here, and then you're gonna go way up high. And you might go through what's called a break in your voice. That's called a break in your voice, and most people have one, most people. Um, so if you get a little squeaky sound, no worries, that is totally normal, okay? Now, I would say don't scream the siren. Don't do it 100% volume. You know, just an easy volume, like a medium volume, okay? So try it with me. Now we're going to take a breath and do a siren. Good. Low to high and back down. Let's try it one more time. Good. And now I like to do one called the roller coaster. You know, on a roller coaster, at first it's you go all the way to the highest hill and then down you go and then there's usually a second hill not quite as high not almost as high but not quite and then woo, down you go and then there's usually a third one a little hill maybe and you're like up 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 and then woo, in for the landing okay so let's do a roller coaster we're gonna do a high medium and low and then in okay it sounds like this we were doing our roller coaster sirens, weren't we? Let's try that again. Good. One more time. Great. Sirens are great for warming up our breathing muscles, our voice, and our mind. Okay, um, let's do our vocal exercise that we've been doing for the last few weeks. Let's start with the one with the numbers. Mm, let's get a nice low note. Let's try that no to start. There's our number one. Here we go. Ready, go. One, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's move it up a little bit higher. There's our one. Try it with me. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, good job. And maybe in future weeks we'll get a little beat going, a little drum beat happening with that. All right, let's do our do re. And we're just gonna go right to it, do. Let's start on a nice low do note, and let's go do, 
And that's uh, so there we go, do, re, don't we? Do, re, do, mi, do, fa, do, so, do, la, do, ti, do, do. Do, ti, do, la, do, so, do, fa, do, mi, do, re, do, do. Nice. Let's take it a little bit higher. There's our starting note. Here we go. Do, re, do, mi, do, fa, do, so, do, la, do, ti, do, do. Do ti do la do so do fa do mi do re do do. Can we try just a little bit higher? Last one. Do re do mi do fa do so do la do ti do do. Do ti do la do so do fa do mi do re do do. Nice job on our vocal exercises. Woo! We did three of them a day, sirens and the numbers and the solfeggio one. Okay, all right. And now today I'm going to teach you a new round, a new rounder song. We've done Farah Jaka, we've done Row, Row, Row Your Boat, and today we're going to learn a new one, at least new to most of you. And um, here it is on the sheet music, and it has three parts. I'm going to turn off the fan. I had the fan going because it got hot in this room. And let's, um, all right, so we're gonna, uh, three parts, uh, yellow and then the orange and then the pink. And so when the first part gets to the uh, yellow, the next group could start at the beginning while the second group keeps going. And then as two groups keep going, you could have a group start at the beginning. Okay, so three parts and um, this is what it sounds like. Let me make sure I get a nice, uh, correct first note, and here we go. That's in your range. I'm gonna sing it down in my range, okay? Here's what it sounds like. Do na no bis pachem pachem. Do na no bis pachem. Can you try that much with me? Try it with me. Here we go. Do na no bis pachem pachem. Do na no bis pachem. The top part, next part, starts up higher. Do na no bis pachem. Do na no bis pachem. And the next part starts on the same note. We finished that one. Do na no bis pachem. Do na no bis pachem. And that's it. That's all three parts. That's all three parts. Okay. We're going to sing it once with this guy. And then we're going to try it in a round. Okay. So let's see. Where's our friend here? No, no, no. Now it's not what we want. Da, da, da. Did I bring him? I think I might have got. No, no. Yeah, here we go. This guy. This guy. Let's sing with this guy, shall we? Good. Now... so you can see the music there we go so we're gonna sing along he's gonna keep going and we're gonna go back to the beginning all right here we go from the beginning there's our note you're a little loud mr. Wright let's turn him down a little bit yep 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 let's try that I'm gonna back it up a few seconds and we're gonna try again, okay? Oh, no. And a few seconds more, a few seconds more, sorry about that. All right, 
Let's let him finish his part, and then we're going to... Our turn. Do not nobis pacem. Do Good. We'll stop there. Now, some of you that I was a little confused, Mr. Wright. Okay, you might have been a little confused by that. Totally okay. All right. So it has three parts, and we're going to come back to it. This is one of the rounds we're going to sing this year today, which is getting to know it a little bit. Okay, but Dona Nobi is one of the most famous rounds in the world, and we're going to do a number of different rounds this year. Okay, moving on. All right, we're getting to the good part. This is the good part. Thanks for staying with us. All right, bye, Mr. Wright. We'll see you a little later. All right, so, all right, we're going to talk about marching bands, and uh, marching bands are popular. Here's a band in New Orleans, and in New Orleans, parades, they have parades just about every day, just about every day. Here's a little everyday parade in New Orleans. Let's listen to all of them. All right, on and on they go, marching through the street. And uh, let's see what other bands we got. Oh, yeah. Um, here's, it's getting big time. It's a football game halftime show, Ohio State. Let's see what they do. Fancy stepping. All right, and off they go. All right, so you go, Mr. Wright, Mr. Wright. I just heard, Mr. Wright. How about that boy, Mr. Wright? How did all this marching band stuff get started? So listen, marching bands and marching music has been going on for as long as we are aware of. We've had marches for as long as we've had music, okay? Because people got two legs, two legs, one, woo, two. And rather, why would we want to walk when we can march? It's so much more fun to march. So from the beginning of time, people have been putting a beat down. putting a beat to march to because it's just so much more fun. It seems like everything is more fun with music. You climb in your car, you turn on music, driving down the road. When you're working, doing some housework, maybe you're cleaning your room, you put on some music, it's more fun. Okay, football games, they have bands. We like to have music. So if we're marching places, it's a lot more fun to march with the beat. And so as long as we've had time, we've had marches all right and so let's look at where uh we're gonna uh there's a guy in american music that is really really important in marching band and some consider him the father of marches now um he didn't invent the march but he did write some of the most famous marches that we have in the united states so his name was john philip sousa and it's this guy right here, and he lived in the late 1800s up till 1933, okay? And this guy, okay, look at him in his fancy suit, 
John Philip Sousa. He wrote uh, most of our most famous marches here in the United States. And today, we still play his music. In fact, you have probably heard a lot of it. Let's play a little John Philip Sousa music. Let's hear this one. Okay, this one's called Stars and Stripes Forever. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Catchy, catchy, fun, fun. Let's see what else. Do I have anything else from John Philip Sousa? That might have been my only song. Oh, no, we did that. We did me already. All right. So that's John Philip Sousa. Very, very important. Uh, our, our most important American March writer. And so we're very thankful for him today. But it's not just an American thing. So I, I pulled some marching people from around the world. Here you go. Here's a... Here's a marching band from Turkey using Turkish instruments. Let's go to another country. Turkey, what other countries do I have? All right. Uh, here's in Japan. This is a high school band, and they were gonna on they were on their way to the Rose Parade here in California. And here they are in Japan performing on the streets. How do you play the trumpet and march at the same time? Crazy? That, that, that takes practice. Okay, let's see. I think we got one more, uh, one more place I wanted to show you. And here we go. A marching band. This is in South Africa. They're sort of street performers. And here they go. Okay. All right. I hope you like their dance moves. Oh yeah, getting the, I got the dance moves going on with that. All right. Well, there's only one thing left to do, boys and girls, before I go today, and that's, I gotta march, okay? So marching, uh, you can do it anytime, anywhere, put on some music, um, but it's maybe a little more fun when you got some special clothing. So maybe you got a fancy hat. Let's see if I got a fancy hat here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's see. Let, oh, 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 I lost, uh, and let's see, all right. And I got my fancy hat, and let's see, I got a coat, and put on a coat. You gotta look official, right? Right, 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 okay, okay. All right, we're putting it on, there we go. We got our coat, we got our fancy, fancy hat, and let's do a little marching, shall we? All right.
All right. Thanks for joining us, boys and girls. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Mr. Right. Music with Mr. Right. Woo!